What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be resetting after a long week. It's been another crazy busy work week and I haven't really gotten a chance to get that much stuff done. So today we're basically going to be doing a whole house refresh. I will be tackling every single room in my apartment and every room has something that needs to get done, whether it's deep cleaning, cleaning, laundry, decluttering and organizing you name it we're going to be tackling it in today's video so get ready for tons of cleaning motivation for you guys i hope you enjoy and let's jump right into it you know that i'm the queen of overthinking it's like we're done before we even started so if this is the end now baby know that i gave him my all i'm leaving us i won't I'm starting off by throwing in a load of laundry. I feel as if it's one of the easier tasks to do, either that or throwing dishes in the dishwasher because you let the machine work for you. I am still in the process of consolidating all of our laundry baskets and I do know with this smaller basket and the two of us sharing, it will definitely cause me to do even more laundry, but the hopes is that I won't be backed up too often because it is smaller. It had been some time since I had moved the couch and I always find a bunch of just random crap that ends up slipping through the cracks or underneath the couch and I knew it was time to see what was under here at this point. It honestly wasn't as bad as I thought it would be but there was definitely a lot of like dust and random things that needed to be thrown away.
So this space behind the couch is usually a messy one. I typically will have, you know, packages and boxes back here, but thankfully I've been able to consolidate into two boxes and bags and stuff like that. But I do need to go through these and actually sort them out so I could, you know, clear out this space right here. And then we do also need to tackle up here as well. Again, it's like a free-for-all, catch-all space. So we're gonna tidy this up. Do you guys have an area in your home that no matter how hard you try, it always ends up being a mess? It's kind of like your catch-all space. Well, that is definitely right behind my couch. Other than me walking in the door, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind, but I definitely am trying to do a lot better this year. So we finally got everything neat and organized. Those boxes are gonna go out. I need to take them to the recycle bin. Um, but I did wanna show you guys something. You saw I organized all of the shoes, but tomorrow I'm gonna be going to Ikea with my sister and we're gonna get this shoe organizer. I measured everything so I could make sure that it definitely will fit because you know trying to go all the way back to Ikea to return something is not really something I want to do. So I wanted to show that to you guys. I think it's going to be a perfect addition to the hallway area. I feel as if like I want to start like styling that um the hallway a little bit get like a nice little like runner um 
and then I was even thinking about putting those two small mirrors which I feel like I've had forever right above the shoe organizer but let me show you guys what I'm talking about so I measured everything out and it's not taking up too much space which I do like it fits just perfectly almost to the edge of the wall but I think it's perfect and it still gives us enough room to clearly walk by i don't think it's really going to be an issue but i don't know you guys let me know and then above here i was thinking about putting those two small mirrors above there and really that was about it i saw a couple of prints that i really liked as well and i was almost thinking maybe one here and then one here but they were a little bit pricey so I kind of just want to hold off for a bit and I'm not even going to lie I have been wanting to get some more um, wallpaper and actually do the bottom I thought that might be a nice little like change um, actually like wallpaper the bottom of the hallway but again we will see these are just ideas that I do have but Overall, I really just need to get the shoe organizer so we can get these shoes up off the floor because I just can't stand seeing them like this anymore. You from the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others, a cool kind of melody. Rattled my cage without warning Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah You found a different side of me Like someone pretty need A different side of me, yeah down till we take flight it's how you make me feel yeah yeah let's call and sick and be lazy i'm all for doing what's crazy cause you make it real yeah you found a different side of me the one i'd like to be a different side of me yeah finally heading over to our dining room table and as you guys can see it's just a clutter mess like we have thrown so many just like random things on there I do have some like food storage containers that I just were too was too lazy to actually like put away so I'm going to be tackling that and then there was a bunch of Riley's like art that I needed to store away um, because we changed up some of the frames a bit so anything that I pulled out of there or anything that was extra and wouldn't fit I like to put in my room in the corner which I do need to go through all of that stuff again but for now I'm just going to put it in the corner to be a different side of me yeah e -e 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 -f. you'll find a different side of me like someone pretty need a different side of me yeah e -e 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 -f. to be a different side of me yeah
I already had the dishwasher loaded, but I'm going to add in whatever else was in the sink, but I cannot run my dishwasher at the same time my laundry is going. So I do always have to wait and pick and choose which one I'm going to be running and the other thing will just have to wait. So since we have some clothes drying and I believe even some in the wash, I am just at least going to load it for now. So once those are finished, all I have to do is flip the switch and then I can turn the dishwasher on. Okay, so the next thing that I need to tackle is this bag of stuff that I need to donate. I kind of just have it sitting in this like cheesecake factory bag, but I have my trash bag. Hopefully this will fit everything. If not, then I'll go get another one. But I do want to bag this up, put it in my car so that I can always just drop it off to the Goodwill because I'm sick and tired of seeing it sitting in the corner. I do kind of also want to go through my dresser drawers. I feel like there's more stuff that I can donate and give away. So we might kind of like browse in there a little bit to see if there's anything else. But here is the bag. I've been adding things slowly here. This is an old toy of Riley's, her old um, rain boots. They no longer fit her. So we might as well donate them um, and give them to the Goodwill. Since I was already putting a bag together for the Goodwill, I figured I might as well go through my drawers as well so I can add anything else to those bags so it's just one trip that I have to worry about making. Inside. 
So I have this pile of clothes that I am going to donate, add those to the bag. So I will then just put these two bags in my trunk so I can drop them off at the Goodwill. I was worried you blow up my reputation But I figured it's not on me Yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver Your yeah. hands on myself I keep pulling the trigger all right This very finger for people like them Oh, no, no But darling, oh, my, my I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown Whirl and high Not much needed to be done in the bathroom, but I did want to organize two of the drawers underneath the sink, which I'll show you guys in just a bit, the makeup, and also kind of like, I think it's like skincare, something like that, just because like some of this stuff I don't even use. I feel like it's just taking up random space and we could put stuff that I actually use in there and take this stuff out. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is underneath the sink and the two bins I want to organize. This one and this one. There's some things in here that I just don't use, I don't think I will use, and they're just taking up some space. I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure by myself The first bin wasn't bad at all. There was a couple of things that I needed to throw away. 
but the makeup drawer was a hot mess and I knew that it was. There was something that had broken in there so there was like makeup all over it. So right now I'm just going through and seeing what I wanna throw away and what I want to keep. And then I'm gonna go in and actually like wipe out the drawer a little bit as best as I can and then also wipe down everything I plan on keeping because like literally every single thing is covered in makeup. The goal is to eventually organize this drawer and put all of my everyday makeup that I use and put it in here so I don't have to keep walking back and forth to my bedroom. But for now, I'm literally just going to wipe everything down and put it back in this bin. So tell me, tell me what you want me to do. I can be good or be not in. So this is everything that I am getting rid of. These are just items that I don't use or I used to use and I no longer like like them or anything like that. So I'm going to throw all of these things away and then down here. I just threw everything into the makeup bin. I do need to actually take the time and really like organize everything, put the makeup that I use all the time in here so it's just easier to do my makeup. And then I just have a couple of things in the pampering, um, some face masks and stuff like that that I like to use. So the last area that we're gonna be tackling today is her Barbie dream house. 
she just told me that she wanted me to get rid of it but i'm like no girl we're not gonna get rid of it um i feel as if once she turns maybe like seven eight and can do more independent play this is when she's gonna really want to play with like barbies and all of that kind of stuff so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna basically just take it down um one of you guys suggested i just like take it apart and then store it away which i thought was such a great idea so i ended up getting this large bin from target so i'm hoping everything will fit inside there and then i will just like store it away my mom said i could actually bring it to her house and put it in her basement until you know riley gets of age when she really like genuinely wants to play with like barbies um so yeah that is basically the last thing that we have to tackle today this is the bin that i got i thought it was pretty large um especially for like the larger pieces for the dollhouse so hopefully i'll be able to fit everything inside if not then i'll just go back to target and get another bin I thought this was going to be a pretty easy task literally just taking it apart but boy was this one of the hardest jobs ever I was trying not to break it there were some areas where we actually had screws and I didn't remember having to screw anything in there I did break small little pieces here and there but I did my best to kind of keep everything still intact while also trying to take apart all of the different pieces
Alright, so I was able to get it apart. I broke it in some areas, like a little bit, um, but I think it should be fine. Uh, the only thing I'm not able to get off is I cannot take this piece out, and the reason I need this piece out is so that I can fold this up. But I'm just going to leave it as is. I don't want to like damage it anymore. And for the most part, I was able to fit everything in here except this one actually need it to be just a little bit wider but everything else did fit in which is good so I will put this close this up and then if anything maybe get another bin to put these two pieces in or just sit these pieces on top of the bin in the basement and we should be fine or like put it in a bag just to kind of um make sure you know bugs spiders all that stuff doesn't get on it but Boy, was this a project. And I am so happy to finally be done. Um, it does open up the space a little bit more. And I'm thinking about moving that um, white cubby thing in this corner now. So it doesn't have to sit right in front of the window. So I'll do that. Um, and then we do need to eventually get to organizing all of her bins. But clearly, I'm not doing that today. Um, the biggest project was really just taking down this Barbie dream house and I feel like when I put it up it was so much easier than it is to take it down but you know it is what it is I doubt many people probably deconstruct it um but Riley will be happy <clears throat> once she sees that this is down we did end up purchasing like a play kitchen from Ikea so that's really what she wants to have in this room it's a lot smaller so we don't have to worry about it taking as much space um so I will share that with you guys in a future video where we'll like decorate a little bit I got a bunch of stuff from Ikea so there's definitely some decorating I feel like it's been a minute since we've done any of that kind of stuff
got drunk and ended up at your place That kind of love is not easy to find, babe I haven't felt that since you went home, babe I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys right back here in my next video. Bye.